I want to talk about the importance of women working with other women. It's not as easy as it sounds. I want to start what I want to say by taking us to a dress shop, but I promise it'll come back. Okay, so we had a miserable winter um, with, you know, melted ice, fro frozen water in the streets, and I was up um, in Northampton between meetings, and I had some time to kill, and I'm slogging through the frozen slush, and I ducked into a store, and it was, um, you know, a glorious March spring here, and there the store was lined with prom dresses, the big, ugly, frilly, you know, confections. And I'm looking in my rain gear, and the shop lady was a little suspicious of me. Didn't, you know, didn't have a real buyer on her hands. But I saw in the corner this amazing thing that drew me closer. It was, it was uh, just a piece of art, this just shaped dress on this form that was long and navy blue, not, not like any of the other pastel pinky fluff things. And it uh, had a peacock design of, in beads all the way up with the eyes throughout the whole thing in crystal all the way through. And I looked at the form and I said, do you have any, any more of these? No. That's it. I thought, oh, damn, because that thing is tiny. I had a little body dysmorphia. I looked around like, well, I'll, I'll, I'd like to try it on. So she gives me her rough. She comes over, and she undoes it from the thing, and she hands me the dress. I take off my boots and all that, and I think, that was an never fit. And I, I put the thing on, and I came out, and she zips me up, and I look in that, you know, the what-not-to-wear mirror, except... Uh, I, I was, I, I hadn't felt that way in years. I looked, it looked like it was made for me. And she gasped and she said, come here to the assistant. And they come over and they look and they're going, oh! and I had a number of things happen to me. I thought, um, for a moment I was, I mean, I couldn't, it was not a shrinking dress. It was, it's a peacock. It's a, a peacock feathers all over me. I had to absolutely either be completely part of this, own the whole thing, or just leave the store. So I stood there, and inside, I had my inner nasty, you know, bitch start. Mine's French. Just, you know, the chien, who do you think you are in this dress? Say, get off, you yeah. ugly bitch. You take that dress off. And I, I was, I'm just determined. I'm starting to shrink a little. And they're like, you're beautiful. You're really beautiful. And then I had that other thing that happens with women. We're sensitive beings. And I could feel one of the younger women who's watching start to shrink a little. Because, you know, her flowers start to crumble. And she's like, I'm not beautiful. I will never fit in that dress. I'm ugly. So then I didn't want, I didn't want to have to be the woman in the dress either. Either way, I couldn't win. And, and that's what happens when we're working with each other, where either um, it's hard to take the place because those inner voices that we've internalized from either that like bad mama or the nasty guy or whatever start going, Aah! tearing you to shreds, or uh, we can feel other people shrinking, other women shrinking. And so we don't want to take our space either way. And I realized, too, that I had spent most of the past decade trying to get all the poop off my hands after I changed the diaper and make sure that I got everything done before I went to work and that just for this moment in time, I'm, I'm the peacock. And that, you know, tomorrow I'll be changing the diaper and making breakfast, but I can for this moment in time, that's who I'm going to be. And that when it happens to you, I'm going to be right there being like, you are breathtaking. And that's a big piece of work for us. And that's, that's what we need to do together. We need to recognize, you know, when it's time to say, you finished your PhD, you did that presentation for the first time, you know, you're starting your own business, you're the peacock. And you're, you know, you are not to be ashamed of yourself. You're not to shrink in any way. You're not shrinking. And I am right here saying, you're, you're taking my breath away. And then, you know, tomorrow you can take out the poopy diapers. But right now, right now you're something.